Have you ever wanted to add different materials into your game instead of the boring default Roblox materials? How about adding different variants of materials for different material categories, like maybe different wood materials? Well, we can do exactly that by using something called the material service. The purpose of the material service is to store instances called material variants, and these variants allow us to create different variants of materials in our game. This service also allows us to define what material variant should override different default Roblox materials as well. So let's go ahead and add a new material variant into our material service. You can store these in folders. You can do whatever you want. As long as it is a descendant of the material service, the material service will detect it. So we can go ahead and select what material is going to be the base material for this particular variant. So if you wanted to make a variant of, let's say, brick, or you wanted to make a variant of, let's go ahead and try out wood. If you want to make a variant of this, then you would just select that material. And then here is where you would upload the different images that would represent the different maps for a particular material. So a material is made up of different image layers, like a roughness map, a normal map, a metallic or metalness map, and a color map. And these define different attributes of the material, like how rough it looks or how smooth. If it looks metallic, it gives you like a height map and that kind of stuff. And one of the easiest ways to get different images for different materials is by using the Roblox Assistant. So you can actually use the Roblox Assistant to generate materials for you. For example, inside of the Assistant, it says, hi, I'm your Assistant. If you have questions about creating on Roblox, I'm here to help. And then it also says, ask me to generate a new material. So let's go ahead and ask the Roblox Assistant to generate a new wood material for us. Hi, assistant, please generate to me a mossy wood, maybe mossy wood bark material. We'll give it some descriptive words and let's go ahead and see what it generates. OK, there we go. It looks like our assistant had created some variants. It says creating variants of wood described as mossy wood bark and it generated it with an organic pattern. And if you'll notice, a new folder was created inside of our material service called Assistant Materials. And it gives us our four examples of the different materials that it generated. Now, the names of these materials is what's going to show up when you, for example, select a part like the spawn location and you want to pick a different material variant. So if we open this up, now what you're going to see are our different wood bark variants. So, for example, if I select this first one, it's going to automatically change the material from plastic to wood because that is the base material. And as you can see, look at that. There is our mossy wood bark. And then inside of this material variant, we can also change this property called studs per tile. So if we want to shrink or increase the size of the texture, we can go ahead and do so. So as you can see, the texture is scaling up or down depending on how many studs are in a tile for an image. So if I want my texture to be really zoomed up close and big, I can increase it to 20. Or if I want the texture to be very small and continually repeat itself, I can set it all the way down to 0.1. And if we take a real close look, you can see our texture right there. Of course, you can also go online to different websites to download, let's say, PBR materials or downloading different material variants. You can download like the color maps, the metal maps, the normal maps and the roughness maps. And then you can create a new material variant, upload those images into each of the different properties, and then give your material a name and the base material that it's going to be a variant for. And then you can go ahead and assign these different materials using the material variant property inside of parts in your game. Let's go ahead and ask the assistant to generate another material. Maybe we want some kind of like alien spaceship metal material. So let's go ahead and let's say, Please generate me an alien spaceship metal material. Let's just do something like that. Okay, there we go. It generated some uh, different alien spaceship metal materials for us. And because I had my spawn location also selected, it looks like it automatically updated to one of those material variants. So here's one of the variants that looks very strange. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other ones. Let's say, let's go ahead and look at this one. What does this one look like? Looks very strange. How about the next one? 
Okay, very interesting. I mean, it does have a very like AI-esque kind of look to it. What does the next one look like? Okay, very interesting. Of course, you can give more descriptive words to the assistant to generate you more different kinds of materials. But as you can see, you can ask the Roblox assistant to generate whatever material you want. Maybe you want some kind of cartoony material for a cartoony style game, or maybe you want more realistic looking textures. Ask the assistant to generate that as well. These textures don't have to be really unique and detailed if they're going to be used for some obscure things. Like for example, if you need like a ground texture, just ask the assistant to generate you some kind of material for that and you're good to go. Now that I've actually got some of these material variants generated, I can go to the material service and head down to its material overrides properties. And for example, maybe I want to override the default wood property with one of our mossy wood bark variants. So let's say mossy wood bark number three. If we do that, now if we create a new part and we set it to the material of wood, by default, as you can see, the new texture is this mossy wood style bark. So now we have overrided the default Roblox material of wood with our mossy wood bark three. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.